Okay, so I'm going to uh, show you how to do the uh, first two problems of the worksheet, uh, combustion reactions. Uh, I will do the single replacements uh, over the weekend, send them to you as well. Uh, this along with the notes and the PowerPoint should help you out and what you need to know. Okay, so um, it says write the, uh, for a, com a combustion of hexane, hectane, heptane, write the word equation and the balance equation. Okay, so uh, the word equation is simple. Just hexane plus oxygen yields carbon dioxide and water. And this part here, I told you, will always be the same for uh, combustion of alkanes. Okay, uh, the initial equation unbalanced is, is this, and this is where we change the names of the formulas. All right, on the next slide, we will cover on how to balance the equation. Um, meanwhile, let's just do the combustion heptane in terms of the word equation and initial equation. So, uh, so you have heptane. Again, oxygen yields carbon dioxide and water. Like I said, that doesn't change. And uh, this is initial equation. Again, notice what doesn't change in these re equations. Both of these equations have uh, the word equation this and the ke uh, initial chemical equation this. So we're going to show how to balance this equation first, and then, all right. So you start out with your uh, your your initial equation, and what we're going to do is balance carbons first. So uh, I'm going to put X in front of carbon here. You don't have to do the X, but I'm going to just follow through with the math. You don't have to do the math. You can if you can do it in your head, that's fine. So um, the total number of carbons is the total number of elements are the coefficient times the subscript. So there's one times six uh, carbons. So there is a uh, total of six carbons on the reactant side. That means there has to be six on the product side. So um, so X times one has to equal six. We don't put the one there usually, but it's there. So X times one, X times one has to equal six. So X equals six. So I put that number here. Now, one thing you should notice is that the, the subscript uh, for the alkane is pretty much always going to be the coefficient for the carbon dioxide. Okay, so we got carbon. So, so let's do hydrogens next. Okay, so we want to count how many hydrogens we have on the reactant side. So here's one. Remember the one the, the coefficient distributes to every all the elements in here. So it's one times fourteen. So 1 times 14 is 14. And that number has to be the same on the other side. And so I put a Y here. Uh, so water has 2. So it's going to be Y times 2 equals 14. And simply divide both sides by 2 and you get Y equals 7. All right. Okay. So now, so one thing you should know about, notice about this is the... Um, the number that goes here will always be for alkanes half of this number. Okay, so so there's convenient kind of quick ways of figuring this out. So divide by two and seven. Okay. So now you have your carbons, your hydrogens balanced. Now let's do the oxygens. So now what we're going to do is count the oxygens on the product side. So you have to be careful here because the oxygens come from two places. They come from the carbon dioxide and the water. So we have to count up from both places. So it's going to be 6 times 2. Don't look at the carbon here. Just ignore it. So it's 6 times 2, okay, for the carbon dioxide. And 7 times 1 from the uh, oxygen. So that gives me a total of 19 oxygens on the product side. Okay, 19 over here. Okay, all right. So now I have some Z times 2 has to equal 19. Z times 2 equals 19. So simply do the math. 19 divided by 2 is 9.5 and, and put that number here. And again, usually this total here, I mean always, is well not always, um, is going to be half of this number here is going to be always half of that. For alkanes okay all right so so there you go and don't worry about it there being a half 
in front of the um, for the coefficient, like I said in the other PowerPoint. All right, so let's go on to uh, combustion of heptane. So here's my initial equation, and I'm going to start balancing the carbons first. So 1 times 7 has to equal x times 1. Okay, and simply that's going to be a 7. All right, again, the subscript of the alkane, this number here, will be turn out to be the coefficient. Okay, so now let's go to hydrogens. So we want to count up the number of hydrogens on the reactant side. So it's 1 times 16. 16. Okay. So this amount has to be the same on the product side. So the only place we have hydrogens here. So y, some variable, times 2 has to equal 16. So uh, what number times 2 is 16? 8. So we just put an 8 here. And again, notice is that this number here is half of this number. Okay. All right. Uh, the final part is get the oxygens. Okay. So you count the oxygens on the product this side this time. And they come from two places. 7 times 2 is 14. Okay. Don't. So 7 times 2 is 14. 8 times 1 is 8. So 7 times 2 is 14. 8 times 1 is 8. Add them together and you get 22. Okay, so there has to be 22 oxygens on the reactant side. Well, there's a 2 here. So what number times 2 is 22? Well, it's 11. Okay. And there you go. And notice is that this number here is half of the number of oxygens on this side. So we're 7, so there's 14 plus 8. So if you take this total, divide it by 2, and, okay. All right, so here, that's how you balance these, okay? And um, uh, if you look at it, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, what's common between all of them, oxygen yields carbon dioxide and water, and what's different is the alkane and the coefficients. All right, so that's it.